Uganda currently hosts over 1.5 million refugees from mostly the neighboring countries such as South Sudan, Somalia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Burundi. This is not a mean feat, argues Jan Zetek, the European Union ambassador to Uganda. It is implementing is what they call, or what we call, an open door refugee uh, policy, which is allowing refugees to access protection, health, education, services, as well as to work and create businesses. It's a very progressive policy. Can we give Uganda a round of applause for that? Besides offering refuge, the country is lauded for socially and economically empowering the refugee population, especially the youth. Uh, we have witnessed first-hand resilience, strength and the potential that refugees bring to our communities, which is why we, with uh, open arms we received the Humanitarian Development Nexus, where we ensure that we are not only um, advocating for humanitarian support, but development support as well for both the refugees and the host communities. This art exhibition, A Brainchild of Faces Up Uganda, with support from the EU, attests to Uganda's commitment to develop talents, enhance creativity and also offer opportunities to the youthful refugees from the West Nile and Northern Uganda to express their feelings. For me, uh, having been part of this project, it really continuously exposed me to the incredible skills these young people have. Most times, they are going through a lot of adversity, but regardless of whatever that they are going through, they are very resilient, they are very creative, and they had the pressure to share with us their hopes, but also their dreams through their artworks. At the EU, we are passionate about empowering young people to become active citizens in their communities, and I personally strongly believe in the power of art as a platform to give a voice to young people. The Refugee Youth Art Competition was initiated by the European Union on the World Refugees Day and attracted over 600 participants. Kemigisha Cynthia, a climate change activist, singles out her favorite art piece. So for me, seeing this piece has been my favorite piece today. It is plant a tree, save the environment. I can imagine some of these children or these uh, people have come from communities where they've been displaced because of climate change. So this art is really communicating so much. They the art pieces communicate messages of access to justice, environmental protection, education, empowerment, and self-reliance, among others. Denis Sigor and Winnie Katwire for UBC News.